Hey everybody, Open Speed Shop here. So we're going on a little field trip. And when we get there, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So it's about an hour and a half drive. I'll see you when we get there. Well, we made it to our destination. I don't know if you can tell back there what it is. But we'll get into it once we get in there. All right, so I just made a deal for this little bad boy right here. 20 foot car hauler. So we're getting ready to load her up so I can take her home. So the main reason I'm buying this trailer is because I got to go back to San Diego to pick up the Camaro that you've seen on the channel. And plus I want to start doing some revivals and I need something to get to haul them back to the house with. So that's what we got. So the trailer's by Premier. It's a 20 footer, 7,000 pound capacity, 3,500 pound axles. And electronic brakes and it's got a uh, GPS tracker on it too. So if it gets stolen, they can track it down. I'll get more into it once we get it home. So she's official. She's mine. We're hooked up and ready to go. So let's get back on the road and head back home. Good about 100, 100, 100 mile trip ahead of us. Alright, so we made her home. New addition to Ogre Speed Shop. It's going to be a very welcome addition. And now I can start expanding the channel a little bit more. To include uh, picking up some project cars. She's looking pretty good. I don't know how much this is getting caught with that wind out there, but I to like get an idea of what the uh, ramp would be like. It's about a four, I think it's a four foot uh, ramp, but because of the dovetail, that makes it a little bit better. I can always, you know, I used to. Uh, use rhino ramps to bring the back of the truck up to load cars on a buddy of mine's trailer because uh, it was such a steep incline to get up on it so so far i'm liking everything about it definitely gotta get some locks for the uh, ramps because those are just pinned in right now but uh definitely needs a a lock on there so those don't get stolen but overall i am very happy and some of the upgrades definitely gonna add a winch Right, a toolbox up here with a winch in it. Uh, another cool thing, this thing automatically charges the battery for the brakes when it's plugged into the truck. And it's got the uh, LED running lights everywhere. Is it on right now? They are. Why are they on? And they just turn on all the time. Anyway, so I also want to do some tie downs. I don't know if I want to get some of those track style ones, or uh, I definitely want to put to the metal because I don't want to just attach the wood, obviously. But yeah, I am now officially a car hauler. Pretty happy about that. So, one of the things this thing has is called a, I think you call it a bulldog hitch. So, it's this style of hitch rather than one of those ones that has the flip down. Uh, latch so in order to open it you pop this this way and it releases it and to close it up you pop it in it automatically closes there's a pin right there to pin it through just like a normal just like any other hitch so keeps it from opening you can put a lock on that too a lock pin so that's pretty cool and another thing is for your plug Really cool, it's got a little storage spot for it. So, take that out, plug her in. And then storage spot for it. All right, so there you go. See if you want to lock it up while it's on your truck. You just use one of those little lock pins like I used before. So even though this thing's gonna take up most of the room in the shop, I wanna put it in the shop in order to do the upgrades as far as putting the winch on and the toolbox. And it's literally gonna take up this entire area right here from the door back to almost where the uh, air compressor is at. It's gonna be about a foot of room back there, maybe two. But I wanna get it in here. So I gotta clean up first, move the Firebird over a little bit, and then uh, we'll get the trailer in here. All right, let's get the Firebird moved.
We, for the most part, are smart enough to get the hell out of the way. But I don't know for sure. Yeah, okay, I'm going to back it in here. So uh, don't judge me too much. I haven't done this for a while. So here we go. Ready for a ride? Pump that keys. Further to you. Oh, yeah. Pull it a little bit and get it off. Pull it out. Who's holding it? That's so cool. I can move around the shop easier. But as you can see, we're right up against the trash can back here. But we have about two feet up here. So I'm gonna move it forward so we have the room in the back. Let's see how heavy it is. <laughs> So that makes me happy. We got two feet of room back here. She's in the shop, so she's protected. And the duck is, you know, gives me his, his approval too. And up front now we have, I don't know, about two inches of space there. We're good. So now we can do some work on it, like uh, get the winch and tool but uh, uh, excuse me, a toolbox and figure out tie downs because I want to get a tie down to the more to the bed here. So rather than off to the side, but I'm happy we got her inside. So I'll complete this little introduction to my uh, trailer. And why did I get this trailer? One, because I need to go pick up the Camaro in the in the uh, in San Diego because it's broken down, and plus they don't like Oklahoma cars in San Diego, in California. So I want to change that out and get this thing back out here so I can get a LS swap going on it. But anyways, it's not the only reason. Another reason is because I want to start doing some more projects that require me bringing a car here that doesn't run. And one of the main reasons is for you, for you all out there who are watching and supporting my channel. So I really appreciate that. So you're the reason why I'm doing this. I want to make sure I put some good videos out for you and be able to bring some new projects into, the, into my channel. So again, thanks for everybody for watching and for supporting me on my channel. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath from moving stuff around and running around. But anyways, if you like this video, you can leave a like down there. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what I can do better. Give me some crap about how I backed that into the shop. And uh, subscribe if you subscribe. Like I said, I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming up. And hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be making a trip out to San Diego to pick up the Camaro, get to see my son and his, and, uh, his girlfriend and their family. So that'd be pretty cool. But uh, like I said, uh, until next time, I will see you all later. And again, thanks for watching.